Hey, look who's back. It's our friend the Waffle Iron in our episode today that we're calling the Not Too Awful Waffle Falafel. That's right, we're going to be making falafels in here today. And the reason being is that often you want to be putting your falafel into a pita like this. And really, I think that that round ball doesn't really fit in there that well. So we're going to make something that is really more pita shaped. As you can see here, that's practically the shape of a pita, isn't it? with our falafel. Now, if you are seeing this now, you mean that it means it actually has worked. Because we haven't actually tried this yet, so this is the first time we've tried it. So if you're seeing this, it means it worked, else we probably wouldn't be doing this right now. So let's start right now with some of our ingredients here. I'm going to take a food processor, I'm going to put in a uh, bunch of parsley, four cloves of garlic, an onion, I've quartered it at least. Putting this in here and let it rip. I'm just going to pulse it a few times, which it is. And we let these guys mix and mingle for a little bit as we take care of our of our chickpeas here. I got one can of chickpeas, and I'm going to just mash them. And it's good that you mash them this way because you don't want them too smushed, like if what the food processor would do to them. You could use fava beans with this if you want, or a mixture of fava beans and garbanzo beans. But this is what we had here today, and this is how we're doing it. While you get it a little mixed up, I'm going to put a couple tablespoons of olive oil in here. Then continue mixing it just a little bit. So, so you don't see your little garbanzo beans, you just have garbanzo smishes in here. Mix up a little bit, and that looks good. So let's mix up some of our other ingredients here. So I'm going to start with an egg. And I'm going to take some cayenne, maybe three quarters of a tablespoon, teaspoon, three quarters of a teaspoon. You'll be in for a surprise if you put three quarters of a tablespoon in there. Um, a little coriander, about a teaspoon or so of that, some cumin, a couple of teaspoons, and then um, some lemon juice, about half a lemon maybe, and some baking powder. Put that in here. Now let's just mix these up. You can probably hear everything working together, the um, baking powder bubbling just a little bit in here as it mixing up with the egg and the acid from the lemon juice. So once we get these guys mixed up, we're going to mix them into the, the beans, the bonzo beans or the chickpeas, depending on what you want to call it. Now let's take these guys. This is the, the parsley, the onions, and the garlic. Whoa, that is f very flavorful. No need to talk about smell o vision because you know it's not going to happen. Not in our lifetime, at least. All right, what do you think, you little bastard? Yeah, you don't think so either, do you? Yep, got the little bastard here watching us over my shoulder all the time. You know, because a guy like me, I might cook like a bastard, but I'm not a bastard. Him, the little guy, he is a bastard. And about this time, you can tell that there are some onions in here. And because my eyes are doing a little, hmm, it's not missing a little something. It's getting a little onion love, as we might call it sometimes. So we're going to mix these cats up. Now I have a cup of breadcrumbs, and we're, we might use the whole thing. Got to kind of judge the consistency as we mix this up. Remember, these are waffle falafels, and they're not too awful. All right, so we're continuing to mix this. We're looking at our, our breadcrumbs in here, the consistency. Now you're going to want to let it settle just a little bit while you're doing this so the moisture is being absorbed into the breadcrumbs. Right? Yeah, okay. He's a bossy little bastard, isn't he? Yeah. Okay, so put these guys in here. By looking at the consistency here, let me put almost all the rest of it in. Mix these up, and you see 
It's not too sticky here. You feel a little bit of the moisture, but you know that the breadcrumbs will eventually absorb this. So we're just going to let this sit for a little bit, you know, five minutes or so. Then we're going to try it on the waffle iron. While you're letting it sit, you're going to be heating your waffle iron up. So heat up your waffle iron. Make sure you put plenty of no-stick cooking spray on it. I have mine turned up at about five and a half, almost six. That's about as hot as it gets. Um, before you put it in, taste your, um, wa your falafel mix to make sure it doesn't need any salt or pepper. I added a little bit more salt and just a hint of pepper to this one. So once your waffle iron's heated up, I just take an ice cream scoop and put a fair amount on. You want to fill out the waffle iron. I think that first one might have been a little too big. On here, put it to the middle. You know that will smish because you know with waffle irons, they smish, they smash, they put little holes in it, and they're always good. That's what I like about the waffle iron. Slowly squeeze this down so you feel the light resistance and let it rock, rock or rock because that's what it's about, isn't it? We like to let things rock here in the bastard's kitchen because you know, being a little bastard like yourself, <laughs> you're right. Me, I'm not a bastard. I just cook like one. So we're going to let this thing cook like a bastard for a couple minutes until it'll probably let you know that it's done. Okay, so you're probably going to want to let it cook a few minutes after your ready light goes on because you want to make sure it's nice and crispy. And we're going to keep our fingers crossed that this is going to be easy to get out. You know, sometimes these, these waffle treats aren't as easy to get out as they normally are. But let's see what happens here. Turn it over. Woo, that looks really good. I'm happy with this so far. Let's see how we can get these things out now. So we just kind of coat on this line. So we're going to get this out as one whole unit. Well, that's, that's impressive. So there you go. You got a waffle falafel. Now, this isn't good enough just to have it like this, so let's see how we might be eating this thing here. So I'm going to cut this into quarters. Because the nice thing about quarters is that it makes it very nice size for a pita. And I happen to have a couple pitas here. Now, you know how to make pitas. If you don't, you can go to the store or, you know, check in our pita show. I'll put a link in for that. And so what we're going to do, we're going to start by putting our uh, some falafel in here. And take some red onion, a little tomato, um, a couple slivers of cucumbers. And so I have some cucumber sauce here, and we have another show to show you how to make this if you don't know how to do that. And then I'm going to put just a little hummus on there, and we'll have a show for hummus. Wow, this whole thing just comes together here. So here you go. I have a not too awful waffle falafel. Let's try that again, everybody. It's a not too awful waffle falafel. I think this is a great way to make falafels, but the real test is, is it a tasty way to do it? Holy smokes, it is. Um, you know what, sometimes like falafels are a little too hard, too crunchy, too dry. These really make a very tasty uh, falafel with all the accoutrements here. We had our wonderful meal, but when went you here and cook? Like a bastard. And cook like a bastard today.